Oyagala omukuru ku gwenja olugo berene bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire Backing Montage Photo Studio fiba kafuru mu kuba bifananyi no kola video oli na wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photo shoot or music shoot na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala fetu subulu kuwe bijukize birungi eri biroto byo ate no mwana watu kusinte zo mtu wa buli jo tusange bana nkula bikubitala ku Prime Tower level 3 room D04 okumanya bisingawo tukubira ku namba zino note musavu note biri emu note nya emu biri tano Oba, noti musavu tanu tanu, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tanu. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, atinu mwana watu kusinti izo mtu wabuli jo. Hello friends, welcome back to Love Media where we spread love. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we gonna look at the top richest politicians in Uganda and we gonna look at Abdul Kaden too. Abdul Kaden to who represents Bugwari County is one of the oldest and rich opposition MP in Uganda. In addition to being a politician, he has also acquired numerous amount of wealth from being a lawyer and numerous other political positions. Unsurprisingly, he has decided not to fully engage in the political situation in 2021. He definitely has numerous sources of income. Abdul Kaden to, born 12 March 1965-1 is a Ugandan politician, currently serving as the Member of Parliament for Bugwari County, Bugwari District 1. He is a member of Forum for Democratic Change Party 1 who served as the Shadow Attorney General in the Parliament of Uganda till 2018 2 and was replaced by Wilfred Nwagaba 3. He was first elected in 2001 1. Katen 2 is a practicing lawyer, having received an LLB from Makara University and a DIP, LP, LDC, from the Law Development Center 1 he is a former member of the Pan-African Parliament from Uganda 4 and the Rapporteur of the Committee on Justice and Human Rights. He lost his parliamentary seat in the 2006 Ugandan general election to Kyron Dakivjinjia but challenged the result, citing widespread malpractices 5 the court found that during the campaign period and on polling day, there was widespread intimidation and torture in Bugwari constituency, biasing the result in favor of Kivjinjia 6 Katen to won the resulting by-election 7. In the 2011 general elections, he was re-elected for another term in Parliament. Lady Justice Susan Abanyo has dismissed 10 affidavits filed by Abdul Katen to defending his election as the Bugwari County MP on grounds that they were filed outside the stipulated time. Abanyo delivered the ruling when the petition filed by Katen to's rival, Julius Galasanga, the Forum for Democratic Change FDC, candidate came up for hearing on Tuesday. Galasanga dragged Caton to an electoral commission to court for allegedly orchestrating electoral irregularities, which affected the outcome of the Bugwari County parliamentary poll results. During the hearing on Tuesday, Galasanga's lawyer, John Isabiryi explained that they filed their petition on March 24, 2021, and the first respondent filed their response on June 6, 2021. He noted that it was inappropriate for the respondents to file supplementary affidavits three months later. Abanyo, who adjourned the session to August 26, 2021, ruled that election petitions are matters of public interest, which warrant adherence to all procedures, to promote fairness and justice for all parties involved. Isabiryi argued that once the court allows the first respondent to file fresh evidence, he would not stop to bring more affidavits before the court. Katenta's lawyer, Alfred Oriam expressed reservations about the court ruling but he stressed that their defense team is on course to outrightly win the petition. Meanwhile, Justice Isisarunkuma has cleared Jinjia South Division East legislator, Nathan Nabeta to file supplementary affidavits to support his reply to the petition. Surunkuma directed both the petitioner and respondent's lawyers to file written submissions, which shall be expeditiously discussed during the next hearing on September 16, 2021. Alliance for National Transformations, and, Paul Mwiru filed a petition against the Electoral Commission and Nabeta, accusing them of conniving to deny him victory during the January parliamentary elections. A section of Electoral Commission officials connived with Nabeta to exaggerate the results at Mrs. 1, polling station NM, which greatly affected the final election results reads the petition in part. 
According to one of the declarations of results forms exhibited before the court, Mrs. One, polling station has 798 voters and of these, Nabeta earned 650 votes whereas, Mwiru garnered 20 votes. However, in his affidavit, Mwiru argues that he earned 103 votes and Nabeta scooped 238 votes. He claims that his agents were beaten and forced to append signatures on the fake declaration of results forms. Nabeta's lawyer, Ahmed Kalyul stresses that they delayed filing their replies to accord the petitioner enough time to furnish court with enough evidence in support of the petition. Mwiru argues that the move to allow the respondents to adduce supplementary affidavits is timely in ensuring fair dispensation of justice. Thanks for watching Love Media. Catch you next time. O ya galo mkuluku gwenja ulu gubire nevi jokize mnyumba yo Kan kwa njulire Baking Montage Photo Studio Fiba kafurumu kube bifana nyi No kola video Oli na wedding Birthday party Kuchala Nika Baby shower Photoshoot Oba music shoot Nabulichimu chonacho ya gala Fetu subulu kuwe bijokize bironji Iriye biroto vyo Ate no mwana watu kusinti izo mtu wabuli jo Tusangipa nankula bikubitala Kuprime Tower Level 3 Room D04 Okumanyi visingao Tukubiri kunamba zino Note msavu note bili Emu note nya Emu bili tanu Oba, noti musavu tanu tanu, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nyan noti tanu. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sabulu kuwe bijukize bironji, ate nomwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli jo.